she's very distressed about her father's illness. He still refuses to see her. She has a new job. She's in new surroundings. Yes, well, she sounds like such a lovely girl. And from all the troubles you've described, there's no wonder you feel sympathy Look, for this her. is all very well. I just hope Jody can handle it all right. After all, she was going with Kelly. I don't want this to be the straw that finally breaks the back of an already uptight young girl. Yes, she is carrying an awful lot of anxiety around with her with the opening next month. And she's already decided that she's going to be a failure. This whole experience with Sky Whitney has done her more harm than good. And I am sorry that I ever encouraged her to take the job. I, I don't like any of it now. Well, no, I'll get them. Oh, thank you. Miles, I hadn't heard you express yourself like that before. Well, yes, is this the car house? Uh, yes, it is. This is for Mrs. Carr. Oh, thank sign you. here, please. Sure. Too, too much, I think. Uh, just a second. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Nancy, for you, uh, have a lot of several news. Oh, yes, I was expecting this. Miles, may I get you a refund? Certainly. Gunsy, you scared me. What do you want? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, would you like a lift, Miss Travis? No, I wouldn't like a lift. I'll take a Well, bus. Mr. Whitney's car is here. Miss Travis, and Mr. Whitney would like me to drive you home because it's getting dark and it's certainly much safer. Well, um, yeah, I, I guess, I guess it'll be all right if we, Mr. Whitney says so. Oh. wants to know what time you want dinner served. I don't know. Tell her whenever she gets it done. My dear wife, this is your household now. You're going to have to learn how to run it. We tell the servants. The servants don't tell us. All right. Let's go out to dinner. Raven, we can't go out to dinner every single night. Now, dinner has already been prepared downstairs. Why don't you go downstairs and talk to Chrissy and tell her what time you want it and what you want done. Right, but not till I finish getting ready. car for you. All right, I'll be right there. I'm gonna go downstairs and have a drink before dinner, I think. Hi, Nancy. Did you get the information? Wonderful. Uh, look, I, I really appreciate all the trouble that you went through to do this. If you could hold on for just a second, I'd like to hear it. Oh, how did you get the information so fast? Oh, well, it wasn't very complex. Listen, Raven, I'll send you these if, if you'd like. But first, let me uh, get you a brief idea here. This one is Dateline Zurich, Switzerland, almost three years ago. Um, rescuers finally reached the remnants of a light private aircraft late yesterday afternoon, 12 kilometers from the village of Sondermann in the Levantine Alps. The aircraft was owned and piloted by Skylar Whitney, international playboy and heir to the Samuel Whitney fortune. The 
flight plan was filed for passage between Bern and a ski resort in the southern Levantines and listed a passenger, Jefferson Brown, known to be a personal friend of the pilots. A rescue party, which reached the site of the crash, reported the plane apparently had slid into a mountain crevasse upon impact, and only a few remnants of the plane had been found. Identification was made through serial numbers found on a piece of the tail section. There were no known survivors. Uh, the end of that. Uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, now he here's another um, uh, brief item, just a follow-up about two months later. Uh, this one is also datelined Zurich. Skylar Whitney International Society figure has been released from the hospital after spending many weeks in a coma. Mr. Whitney was found in a mountain lodge near the village of Sonderman after the plane crash that took the life of his friend and co-pilot Jefferson Brown. Mr. Whitney plans to resume his business activities in Zurich, another international capital in the near future.